Hey y'all, it is Sunday, so it means it's time for Coffee, Coffee with the K's. K's. And we'll give you the, the weekly roundup, what we've been up to, what we're going to get up to, and uh, yeah, what's going on. That's coming up. Hey, so it has been another long week, just like we say every single time. But it's been a good week, so we got quite a bit done. Um, as you saw in the um, yesterday's post, yesterday's post, we got the door done. Um, if you watched the first part of the wood bin, um, the wood storage bin. Um, that's also done. I didn't incorporate the footage into the door because it would have been a lot of footage. And we have a visitor coming up here. He's not supposed He's to be He's not on the supposed table. to be on the table, but he is here. What are you doing? Moose. What are you doing? Hey. Moose stop. <laughs> He's trying to make a cameo. He'll, he'll do his walkthrough to the chair. With some assistance. Yep. But... Um, we did get the wood bin done as well, the wood storage bin, and um, Moose. It, it went really well. Everything went good. Um, I have been working the field quite a bit, Yes. trying to get what is left on the field uh, turned and dried. Um, I turned it... Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, fought with the with the the tether a little bit, and that was a weird stumble on there. Did you see that? No. Fought with the tether a little bit, and um, he's learning. the The fight really is the fact that I don't know. Maybe through user error, I had it too low. Um, one of the first times I was using the the hay rake, and it ripped bolts through the belt. So I used washers and that worked for a while. And then two times yesterday, um, the, the one rake came off the belt. So I had to put washers on, make it try to make it stay. It didn't want to stay. Today we were in the workshop for a little while. I made a plate for it. We'll see how that works out. Made a little two bolt plate instead of a pair of washers. Um, and hopefully if that actually works out, um, in the downtime between um, cuttings and balings, I'll go through and put these plates on all of them. And to better explain it, I'll show you everything that I'm doing. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot some video. But anyway, um, long story short is I had to stop twice to fix the rake and turned it yesterday. Uh, we walked the fields today um, just to get the lay of the land and see what's going on. And it's pretty dry, so I didn't see any mold in it. And I think hindsight being 2020, because it always is. Um, I could have left the rest of the hay lay and you know turned it a couple of times. We were worried because of the amount of rain we got. I mean, it it yeah, was it poor. Yeah. It was like every single day. Like, so we only cut the hay because we had that four-day window. We had yeah. a four-day window that it said that the weatherman said, no rain. Well, I get it cut. He was wrong. I get it cut, and the first day we got rain. Yeah. Get it turned the next day, and it rains. Get it turned the next day, and it rains. So finally, we had, a, uh, we had like, a one or, like a day or so that it was dry. And we were like, look, we got to at least get it off the field because... You know, we got to get ready for the next cut, and we don't want to lose the field uh, for the next cut or delay the next cut because we'd like to get at least three cuts off the field this year. And, well, we bailed it. It was wet. It got hot and hot, hot. So um, I put a thermometer in a couple of the bales, and the bales were reaching 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which means... They were getting ready to catch fire. So we pulled the bales, cut them open, and they became basically Emb mulch. Embankments. Mulch on, all, 
mulch on our 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 bank embankment fortification there i shot footage and it'll be included in a later video and stuff but so we lost 60 some odd bales of hay um well two bales as they were bailed one went to the neighbor for yeah. the rabbit and, and one, one went, went to, to the, a farmer yeah. friend of ours that he wants to because they're smaller he wants to see if it's easier to feed them to his cows so um yeah we might already have built-in customers yeah but that'll be all the hay it'll yeah. it so yeah because he's got like 60 head of cattle so it would be you know all the bales that i could produce would go to him which is not ideal because we're looking at putting a steer in the field and if we put a steer in the field we need hay for this steer, winter yeah so we get we're gonna get two more cuttings and if it stays as mild as it has been we'll probably get three more cuttings um we'll see where you know being that we're feeding it to cattle um we don't have to worry as much about letting it grow out real long to reduce its content because we don't you know um well, these are beef cattle as well, so they need a higher protein content. And the problem is, so if you it doesn't need to be as, um, like it doesn't need to grow longer, which reduces the protein quantity in the hay. Um, with 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 beef cattle, for feeding it to horses is fine. where we're going. Yeah, it's not good to feed the horses because they have a tendency to stand too much, and it's not good for them. Yeah, it, it, cattle are always moving, so it ends up they end up getting horses will end up getting swelling in the feet. Down, down at their, where their last joint is, and that's not good for the horses. And so typically they will, you know, hay farmers will grow the hay a little bit longer uh, to reduce that content so that the horses don't have it go to their, to their ankles or whatever you call that joint. So anyway, being that it's going to be for cattle, we might be able to get three cuttings, three more cuttings off the field because we can cut it a little right in its prime right before it goes to seed um for horses you tend to wait till after it goes to seed to try to reduce it it does become stemmy and stuff but anyway we're going way down a rabbit hole so um i spent today in the workshop fixing that that uh hay rake uh we've been doing the i garden. spent the afternoon fighting slugs we've been doing the gardening um i did get more equipment i did not film anything about it yet um, but we were, we were busy on the fields. We yeah. were busy, mm -hmm. you know, uh, going to the other homestead to get that knocked out. Um, I mean, we were just, we were everywhere, everywhere, everywhere yeah. this week. Um, coming up, Rachel's going to be out of town starting Wednesday ish, okay. Thursday, Thursday morning. Um, and so coffee next week might just be me. Yeah, we're going to try we and figure might... out how to like do a Skype type thing. Or like, maybe I'll just video something and send it to him from because I'll be in Italy for a month. Um, well, till the 28th. Yeah, she's, she's going for school. Yeah. So she'll be out of town. And we might figure out a way to do, what is it, two or three, two or, two or three coffees. Yeah. Um, where... Um, she comes in on a like Skype type call yeah. or Zoom or something like that. We have to figure that out. Yeah. Um, I probably the best way would be like film it on Zoom and then just upload it. Yeah, I think. maybe so. Here or there. Either way, you'll see at least me next weekend. Um, you should see me. YouTube, even if yeah. I have to send him a video, it might be from a beach in Italy, but yeah, YouTube business wise, we're doing pretty good. We're slow and steady. Yeah. Uh, which is the name of the game. As long as we keep uh, increasing the numbers, um, I'm fine with it. Uh, I'm here for you guys. I'm not here for fame or fortune because if if I was, I'd be broke. You know, hey, it's just the way it is. Um, we enjoy making the content. It keeps us motivated, keeps us moving. Um, we are getting lots done. I have hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of footage. Um, in my computer that I need to sit and try to edit and get put together. But the problem is it's... So now that the days are getting longer here in Germany, we have a lot of work outside. So we're working till 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night when we should already be in bed because we have to get up at 5 to go to work in the morning, Monday through Friday. You can't work 
outside on Sundays, so you have to stay in the barn, or there's, you know, we, we have to do quiet work, you know. So it's it's hard for him. I mean, I guess on Sundays he could devote Sundays to editing, but he likes to catch up on his beauty sleep. Yep. So <clears throat> if you can see, you can see the bottom of the windows here behind yeah. us. You can see it's starting to get dark. That's because it's eight o'clock at night. Yeah. Uh, we were busy most of the day, but you can see we keep daylight until like ten 11, o'clock. Eleven. Ten. Uh, 10. I mean, you get to, at ten. It gets dusk. Right, so it's not dark, but uh, not ideal work conditions. No, I mean, and the neighbors would be a little bit mad if we were working that the, late at night. The days are going to keep getting longer all the way yeah. until the twenty first. Of course, I think is the solstice. I'm not one hundred percent sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's around the twentieth, twenty first. Uh, it all depends. It was a leap year, so it might be the twentieth. I, I I don't know. But and also, unless he's on the field actively cutting, bailing, tutting, you you have to stop noise at nine o'clock. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's a local law. The farmers have a little bit of leeway because they're you got to get it out of the their, field. Yeah, they have to get their work done because they're dependent on the weather and everything else. So it's not you know we have until nine at night to stop making noise, but that just means we still got to clean up and you know. So we're not back in the house till nine thirty ten o'clock at night, and that so, makes it hard for him to edit. Yeah. So what what we have coming up is you're going to see some haying. Um, I'm, I'm working the hay field. Um, you're going to see me doing some cutting, some tatting, some haying. Um, I'll be flying solo, so that means uh, I'll have a lot of time where I'll probably... I like to to work little bits here and there. Um, my ADHD, you know, I'll work on something, get bored of that, move on to something else, then bounce back to what I was originally working on. Hopefully he just doesn't forget my garden. It's, it's hectic doing that with footage because I don't remember what I've said or what I've done uh, on the video. So you might hear me repeat things here and there, but that's because um, it's not all filmed in one shot. It's filmed with me spending a couple hours here and a couple hours there. But with that said, like I'm saying, I'm flying solo, which means I'm going to be able to bounce around a lot more and a lot easier um, just because... You know, when I start getting, ta- you know, the, with the task, get, get kind of saturated with it, I want to move on to something else. I want, uh, you know, but, and I'm able to do that when I'm working alone. Um, so hopefully it'll be a surge of getting stuff done. I don't think so. I don't know. We'll see. But like, like I said, I'll be flying solo until the 28th or 29th, whenever, whenever it is, late June. Um, and so she might shoot some footage of her with the toes in the sand and the beach and yada, yada, yada. And we'll, we'll make a little short or something like that and yeah. throw that up. But it's been uh, a great week. I uh, hope y'all had a great week. Mm-hmm. Um, hope this next week is good for you and productive. Yep. Hopefully if our you, next week is good and productive too. If you like our content, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a big, big thumbs up. Yes. And hit the notification bell so that you're, they let you know every time we have something up. It encourages me and her to keep making content. Uh, we are creeping towards uh, one of our first goals. So when we hit that first goal, of course, we move on to the next one. But that depends on you guys. So if you could, like she said, please click that subscribe Click that uh, like button. Click that uh, that bell icon. Please tell your friends and family. Yep. To subscribe. We if you like really what you see, it. if you like what you see, let them know. Yeah. And if you're thinking about family or friends, give them the what's up or the what's that. You know you'd love to hear from them too. The reason I say this every video is because we lose touch with everybody. Uh, we get too busy in our day to day lives to not reach out when we're thinking of somebody. And give them a, hey, what's going on, you know? And life is short, and you might miss that opportunity to reach out and say, hey, what's up to a loved one or a friend. Yeah. So that's why I say it every time. So if you are thinking of that friend, what's up, what's that? You don't have to talk to them on the phone. Most people don't like the phone, but reach out, drop them a message. It's the age of social media. I, I do it. I think you should too. But... Until the next installment, Avita Zane.
Tschüss. And it doesn't want to stop. <laughs> so I got this remote and it's supposed to operate the camera. And it just, yeah, it just chuckles over here. Nothing wants to work right. I don't get it. I buy new equipment, it doesn't work right. But anyway. Ah.